Hey everyone, welcome back to Bam Bam Print. I'm Nick, and in today's tutorial, we're going to explore how and why to lift a model off the print bed. If you see my previous videos, you know that I have a passion for printing dinosaur skulls. These unique and often irregular shapes can present a challenge when it comes to bed adhesion. So today I'll demonstrate my process for lifting prints in Bamboo Studio and discuss the various benefits of doing so. Elevating the model ensures more even cooling, reducing the likelihood of edge warping. Additionally, lifting the model can help address first layer issues such as overly strong adhesion or surface imperfections. Support structures are also crucial when dealing with organic shapes. By lifting the model, you can create better support clearance and more controlled support structures underneath. This approach not only makes support removal easier, but also minimizes the contact with the print bed, resulting in cleaner surfaces with less post-processing. Placing an organic shape directly on the print bed tends to cause failures due to an irregular brim or support brim underneath. Also, lifting the model helps avoid bed artifacts, such as imprints from textured or patterned print beds. This ensures that the bottom surface of your print remains smooth and free from unwanted marks. Lastly, lifting a model allows for greater flexibility in print orientation and support configuration, which is crucial for optimizing prints with complex geometries. This flexibility helps achieve the best possible quality for your organic prints, preserving the intricate details of your 3D model. I hope that this introduction gives you a few things to think about. Let's move on to the fun stuff. All right, so for this tutorial, I decided to use this Velociraptor skull piece. I've already given it the proper orientation on the bed, so now it's time to lift it up. The first thing we're going to do is add a primitive shape on the bed. Right click, add primitive shape. Let's go ahead and start with a cube. And we're going to scale this down drastically. Now the next thing we want to do is assemble these two parts together. Select both models, right click, and click merge. Once you've assembled the two pieces together, you can go ahead and switch over to the objects view. This is going to give you the assembly of both the skull and the cube. Now that they are assembled together, Bamboo Studio is going to allow you to lift the skull model. Over on the left hand menu, go ahead and select the skull model. And up in the toolbar, push M or select the move tool. Now if you move the model in the Z direction, you'll notice that it doesn't snap back down to the bed. Alright, now the next step would be to make sure that you have supports enabled. I go into the support tab and make sure you enable your supports, select the type of support that you want, and then hit slice. You can now see that the model is floating above the bed and it has supports all the way across the bottom. I hope this tutorial has given you some things to consider for your next print. Leave a comment below on how this has helped you in your printing journey. Again, my name is Nick. Have a great day and happy printing.